As Louisiana Farm Bureau members from around the state witnessed last week at the group's 87th annual convention, New Orleans is a city full of customs and traditions. In this week's Homegrown with Melanie Ohms, Mel takes us back to the Crescent City to tell us about a chewing candy that has been pulling customers back for nearly half a century. The best taffy candy in the world is made in New Orleans, right here. And for Ron Cotterman, right here sometimes changes from hour to hour. Ron makes Roman chewing candy in this 94-year-old cart custom built for his grandfather. But the history of this tasty and chewy treat dates back much farther, back to when Ron's ancestors lived in Sicily. Many in his family were candy makers by trade. At about the turn of the century, Ron's great-grandmother, Angelina Napoli, moved to New Orleans. She continued to make candy for family and friends, but it was her son, Ron's grandfather, Sam Cortese, who began to sell the candy alongside fruits and vegetables all around New Orleans. He was a vendor from the time he was like 15 years old on. And when, when he got to be about 25, uh, he decided to try to sell some candy on the, on the route with him, you know, with the fruit and vegetables. The candy sold better than the fruit and vegetables, and so he got in the candy business. In 1915, Sam went to a local wheelwright and together they designed this wagon that would allow him to make his mother's special Italian taffy as he rode through the streets of the city. Ron still uses that same wagon today. This wagon's 94 years old. And as my grandfather went to uh, several wheelwrights in, in town. Enough about the wagon. This is what you want to hear about. The taffy recipe is simple. Corn syrup, sugar, and shortening brought to a boil. It's then cooled one piece at a time on a marble slab, then hand pulled on a hook to mix in the flavorings and to give it texture. A batch of candy will take seven or eight hours, depending on you know what size. Normally, I make candy all day. It's that's what I do. I cook the candy in the morning and then uh, the rest of the day you spend your time cooling it down and cutting it and wrapping it. Ron says making the perfect taffy is not a science, it's an art. It's mostly feel, the way it feels. You can tell when it's ready. Ron started making Roman candy at around the age of 14. It's a family business, so he worked very closely with his grandfather and learned everything he needed to know in order to keep the business rolling. Three generations of people still buying candy. I mean, we've just been around for a long time. People appreciate what you do after a while. I moved to Georgia after the hurricane, and I came back this weekend for a visit. So we were going to Britannia, and I saw this guy. So we're stopping. And I said, oh, we got to go. You got to go stop at this guy. My dad used to bring this home for us. If you want the best taffy in the world, you have to come see me. That's all you need to know. And four generations of customers know exactly what he's talking about. From New Orleans, I'm Melanie Ohms for This Week in Louisiana Agriculture. One of the Roman chewing candy wagons is parked at the Audubon Zoo all year long. You can find the other strolling the streets of New Orleans, normally along St. Charles Avenue. If you'd like more information about the Roman Candy Company or to order Ken's Taffy online, visit our website, twilighttv.org, and click on the Homegrown with Melanie Ohms link.